Cell 411 is a great free app for Android and iPhone. It allows you to set up public and private cells for dealing with crime, emergencies, setting up neighborhood watch, activism, and even protecting your kids from bullies on the street or at school. Cell 411 gives your cells turn-by-turn -turn directions to your location with one touch on your phone. There is also a Bluetooth panic button available that can be worn on your wrist, belt, or around your neck. Cell 411 has real-time chat for each alert so you can discuss the incident with family or friends in real-time video streaming. The video is stored on Cell 411's servers so your evidence cannot be deleted if your phone is taken or destroyed. Cell 411 has decentralized ride-sharing that allows for payment in any form – crypto, barter, silver, cash, etc. Cell 411 does not take a cut of your fare. Get Cell 411 free on Google Play and the iTunes Store or go to GetCell411.com. That's GetCell411.com. Look at how generous we are. Well, we usually go, we usually we're, put up... We are willingly sharing our stash for, with you for $1 a month. We put three or four episodes... Just, our inane ramblings for only $1 a month, folks. Wall. We put out three it's or four... It's the biggest four, deal okay, of hold the on, city, hold, folks. hold on, let me get through this. There, there's a deal of the century going on. Jesus, Dave. We are just some modern-day abolitionists looking to rid the world of the last vestige of slavery, statism. It's the Seeds of Liberty podcast with Andre, Dave, and Jeremy. and welcome to the 136th episode of the Seeds of Liberty podcast. As always, we are covered by a BIPCOT no government license. This allows reuse by anyone except governments and the agents thereof. You can find out more Especially you, Laos. More information about this at BIPCOT.org. So we are back. I am Jeremy, joined as almost always by Dave and Andre. What's up, guys? Boop, 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 boop. Hey guys! <laughs> hey guys! Yeah, what's sweet. going on, Jeremy? How are you hey doing this you fine guys. evening? I, I'm I'm all right, Dave. You made it to 2018. Did you Did you think you would make it to 2018 when you were say no, 20 Dave. years old? No, Dave. Up until I was about 24 and change, I didn't think I was going to make it to 25. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So and then every oh, yeah. every year every year since then it's been a crapshoot. So yes, we're we're here. We're back. <laughs> we uh, we took the week off last week, and now we have returned. And of course, we returned. Both these yahoos are sick, but they are troopers, so they have shown up. And we are going. Alabama is under quarantine. Stay <laughs> out. Dead can't inside. Let, can't let Uncle Jeremy down. Man. I don't have to worry about that. That's right. I wasn't going to step foot in Bama anyway. Un Uncle murdered. So him. we're. <laughs> So since we are back and this is our first sh official show of 2018, since the first one that came out was actually recorded last year, I figured we would uh, keep it short and simple this week, uh, especially because these two are sick. And we're going to do sort of a uh, state of the seeds sh uh, show, I guess, because we talked a little bit about, you know, our year in the last episode and all the things that have kept getting in the way and you know how life kept interrupting us and how we had missed the, you know a few more shows and stuff like that and some of our ideas and what we mm -hmm. were thinking about for the future but we didn't get too specific and then since then i went and took a look at our numbers and well unfortunately they are down <laughs> and they have been for the past couple of months and that's something new for us because we've uh, we've been pretty consistent for quite a while now. You know, we're like like you know we're episode one thirty six, and especially ever since we improved the audio quality and uh, kicked the mm -hmm. Nello out of here, so we could uh, use Fiend Phone <laughs> and, uh, and and got Andre and uh, things had, had rapidly improved, and we were getting really great numbers. And unfortunately, they just sort of tanked towards the end of the year this year. Uh, although our Patreon numbers have started to climb back up, we have we're we're gaining more Patreon uh, patrons. And now that mm -hmm. we have sort of, I think the biggest thing has been like we, we've been going four to five weeks without a guest at some kind of stretches. Well, and we yeah, yeah. one of the major things this year I want to focus on is having us, you know, 
at least within the month, uh, a big guest every month that we try to get in. Yes. Well, thank you for stealing my thunder, thunder, Dave. I, Dave, I was getting there. Oh. I was just, I was just, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just, I was, I was taking the very long route. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of my idea too, because you know, I was, as I was saying, our, our numbers, like our downloads are down, but our, you know, our Patreon numbers are up. And now that we have kind of revived the SOL Steam it page, I'm starting to put all of our old content so we can catch up on there on the new D tube platform that they have and try to get all of our content out over there. So hopefully we double can, currency. Yeah. Well, it, it, I mean, yes, the get, getting the currency is, is an, is an added bonus, but more so just to get more exposure and hopefully uh, get some more people, you know, coming into listen to the show. And I, I mean, I, I don't know if we actually went that long without a guest, but I, I know what you're talking about. Cause that's kind of what I was thinking too. I, I think the combination of, less guests uh the fact that we we did stay focused although we did get some positive responses about this uh, the fact that we stayed heavily focused on crypto for a couple of months uh, i think that may have well turned, there was some a time where off. for at least three weeks bitcoin was going from 700 to a, a, a thousand and then it just went to boom ten thousand. so if you yeah. weren't talking about it good luck you know like everyone yeah, like you were you were missing out on a great opportunity to really spread around spread around your show well that's what was on everybody's yeah. mind well I mean, yeah you could definitely get into certain markets that way but like i said i, I we did get some positive responses i mean i received like we received either uh, emails through the i can't remember if it was through the page or i received a couple of them directly and people were saying they were really mm -hmm. digging the fact that we were talking about crypto and stuff but it may have turned some of our other get you know Ooh, look our, at our, you mr famous other followers <laughs> yeah that's me uh some of our other followers off i don't know <laughs> but i also think that i mean in all honesty i mean we did talk about last show about you know how life kept getting in the way for all of us and stuff but i i mean i don't want to speak for all three of us but i know for me and i think it might be the same for you too is i i think we kind of mailed in the second half of the year honestly uh <laughs> there was there was a bunch of weeks that we <laughs> yeah. did shows that when we talked about it prior we were all kind of like it all it, it almost seemed some weeks that all three of us were hoping one of the other one was going to say oh, i can't do it this week and then we'd have an excuse to say oh, maybe we should not do it <laughs> And, uh, yeah. you know, like I said, we're, yeah. we're doing a state yeah. of the seeds here. So we're going to be honest with, uh, with our remaining listeners <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, we, you know, we might've, we might've mailed it in a little bit, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, I definitely want to change that this year. I, I would like to get back to, you know, getting guests more regularly. Well, I don't think we should forfeit how, how big of an impact our show has. Uh, I, I, I hear talking points that have originated at this, in this show, uh, talked by people that have massive audiences now so i i know that people who have audiences are listening to us so creators are listening to us and that's wow. a good thing hopefully yeah so we just got to keep it fresh for them and, and give them talking points in my wow. opinion i i think i mean that that's great I because think that, i think that's a little the goal ambitious, of this show has always been kind of gatekeepy we've always wanted to be kind of gatekeeperish to the libertarian message right with this show we never wanted to go into anything too crazy uh that way it would be a show that people could always go hey check these guys out they're not too crazy you know well yeah and we've we've definitely strayed far away from that and i, I don't know if we can balance the two though i don't know if we can balance you know the the powerhouse guests that both you and i have now mentioned and also keeping it uh simple you know, I don't know. Because I want to do that. debates on here too. So we have guests on here that, you know, we go, hey, what does everyone think about uh, having this guy on? And if someone says, no, I don't want that person on, then, well, we're trying to get that person on to debate that, you know, person. So uh, it, it's a lot easier to judge a debate when two, two people are listening live and can kind of interject and go, well, there's a logical fallacy right here, you know? I mean, that's There's something to be said for that. I, I think that would be cool. Uh, so, it would definitely be a way to go. Well, I think attention. debates are really becoming a big thing in the podcast realm. And and, there, and that's one of the main thing I think people are yeah, that's, using yeah, to that change other trend, people's like, minds. Across last year. I mean, we yeah. could we could give that a try. Uh, like I said, I mean, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, you, you mentioned you, you mentioned, you know, feedback 
from uh, from the fan from our fans about the uh, you know about potential guests. You know, that's something else I did. I definitely wanted to bring up that uh, I w- I would really like some feedback from uh, from our listeners. I mean, obviously, like I said, our numbers may be down, but there- I know there's people still out there regularly downloading our podcast. You know, there's still um, a few a few hundred or more every you know every episode almost right away, and then there's stragglers that come in after that. And we thank you. Yeah, and yes, and I thank you know I I thank you for your continued support, but. Please reach out to us. I want Thaddeus Russell please. on this show one time this year. Please. I think we might be able to do that. Uh, I have Now I have two connections with Thaddeus, with Brett Fanat, uh, which is a kind of a, you know, a stretch there, but I have Nick Hazelton now. Um, so we might be able to we might be able to get that. That would be that would be great. Although I could see that's that's one that people would automatically say they want to do a debate. Now I'm sure Thad would be up for it. He's a big fan of stuff like that, but um, but 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 you know before we get to, before we get ahead to guests like that, I'm just talking about in general. Like I I would I would really love this year if we could get more feedback from our listeners. Uh, you know whether you reach out to us uh, in the in the group, you know in the Seeds of Liberty group on Facebook, which I, I don't really frequent that much anymore. But if more people were coming in there and asking us questions or leaving us comments, Facebook has killed itself though. So plenty of people I, still I don't use think it's it though. Our group, uh, but, but whatever. I'm just saying it's got this, but they've. Okay, but I don't want to get into I don't want to get into Facebook. I'm, and not, they know they I'm not I'm not going down the Facebook. Well, okay, Re- regard, regardless of anything else, you can feel free to get a hold of either Sorry, I, uh, sorry that Jeremy down, or you can get a hold of myself. I mean, I always respond to messages that people send them to me. Yeah. Uh, so if you're interested in the show and you're listening, I mean, or if you know somebody that you you would like to see on the show, just, you know, drop us a line. We'll be happy to, you know, pull pull whatever meager strings we have at our disposal to try and uh, make that happen. Because ultimately, the show is, is for everybody who's listening, right? I mean, we, we do this because it's fun, and I enjoy hanging out with you guys. But uh, ultimately, it's to, to inform the people that are listening, right? Absolutely. So mm-hmm. yeah, please. Uh, of course. S- send us, you know, send us your feedback. Send us, you know, guest suggestions, uh, ways ways you think we can improve the show. You know, I mean, obviously, getting. Positive, thumb. critical cool well, remarks. Well, well, yeah, you know, I was going to say, you know, getting getting adulation and you know, thumbs up and stuff is great, but uh, you know, cri- uh, you know, positive, uh, critical feedback is still is good too, you know, because uh, like I said, we're you know, we're all sitting here saying that we want to improve, we want to get better, we want to you know, provide better content. I mean, you know, like I said, I I think the Patreon is picking up more so because I finally got around to start pumping out content, which is great. It's just, you know, it's a lot of work on my end, but I don't care. As long as we're seeing results from it, then I'm going to keep doing it. We have set a new goal on the Patreon that if we can manage to get up to $100 a month, then we'll start pumping out. I'll start pumping out two episodes a week because I finally caught us up. You know, I said, see, that might be where we could bring debates and stuff like that. in. that would be really cool. Well, yeah, Yeah, I mean, Patreon episodes for debates. Yeah, I mean, right now we have that way you have to pay for those spicy debates. Yeah, well, we we have we we currently have eighteen official episodes up. There's a couple other things that are up there too, but there's eighteen official bonus episodes that are all Patreon only, and it's still only a you know you can pay just a dollar a month, so twelve dollars a year, and you can get all the content that uh you know that that we're providing. And as I had said over the summer, we're evil capitalists. Once we're yeah, we're capitalists. Are, well, we're probably evil, but we're you know we're not super greedy. Just a buck, man. You know, remember what? Hey, ba- back when Danilo was on the show, he used to try to get a buck a show. We're not even trying to get a buck a show. We're trying to get a buck a month out of you. <laughs> and we usually yeah, yeah. we usually what, I, put out at least three. Look, look at how generous we are. Well, we usually go. We usually we're, put out. Th- we are willingly sharing our stash for, with you for one dollar a month. We put three or four episodes. Just, our inane ramblings for only one dollar a month, folks. Wall. We put out three it's or the four. Biggest deal okay, hold on, cent- hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get through this. There, there's a deal of the century going on. Jesus, Dave. We put we put out three or four episodes a month on on our RSS feed, and then now we're back up to putting an episode a week out on Patreon because as as I had promised over the summer, once October came, I would have a little more time and I was going to try to get out an episode a week mm-hmm. and then we fell behind. But I've pumped out like five or six episodes over the past two weeks and we're finally all caught up again from when I started and said we'd be doing a, an episode a week. So we're uh, back on we're back on track with that. Uh, as I was telling the guys before the show, since we're putting everything on DTube, now or that uh i'm i'm having to go back through all the old episodes because unfortunately have you seen pewtube d tube not to interject too hard p-e-w-t-u-b-e no, p-e-w-t-u-b-e 
D. No, no. Have you seen? No, I know. What is that? I, I know, there, what is I know of D tube. No. What is that? I, have no I don't know. I saw PewTube uh, uh, yesterday. I I don't know. I don't want to get. Don't involved tell me in it. it's PewDiePie making his own. Uh, I have no idea. I don't want to get involved in anything else because if that's the case, good luck. No, we're 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 using D two because we've we're already got the Steam at plat. We're we're already on the Steam at platform, so we're just going to use that for a while. Anyway, like I was saying, we since I've been going through all that, and unfortunately, all of our older episodes, like were Danilo recordings that were gigantic files, I've had to render re-render pretty much everything again. But it's caused me to have to go through all these episodes, which is great because now. I can finally start pulling all that content out from all the earlier stuff that I've been mm-hmm. saving forever and saying I was going to. Like, there's, oh wow, there, you know, there's a there's a pretty don't hel- go th- insane listening to all that. There's a pretty <laughs> hysterical exchange with uh, Luis Fernando Mises from his first uh, from his first appearance back on episode 11 that I have, and I'm going to be putting that out. One that'll probably come out next week. That's going to be I think episodes like you know one through 20, uh, all the little bits from before and after the show that I grabbed. Uh, so we could ch- kind of change it up because a lot of the stuff we put out has been, you know, behind the scenes stuff from these episodes that we've been putting out where it's just been like the before and after show where we sit around and talk beforehand and afterwards. And some of those have been like an hour and a half long because we've had really long conversations and I'm trying to mix yeah, it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we have. This is true. I just uh, the one that came out today was actually well, it went up on Patreon last night, but everybody else I think saw it today was I actually recorded last night with Aaron Thompson from Liberty Lampoon, a former guest of ours, and Shane Radleff, another former guest from Liberty Under Attack, uh, because the three of us are working on a project right now that we talked about that uh, we put out, you know, it's on page, it's on Patreon. Uh, we're not talking about it publicly because, uh, well, there's reasons for that. But again, if you just want to dolly, donate a dollar a month, you could pay a dollar for that <laughs> spicy intel. You, you could go get that and all the other stuff we're doing. But yeah, so we, we, we could start. YouTube is uh, very nondescript here. We, we can start about it. We could start doing all that stuff. But as for the show itself, I definitely don't want to neglect the show at all. Uh, I want to keep, you know, providing great content and give people a reason to want to go to our where our paid content is. Uh, although, you know, you can go to Steam and not really pay anything and still give us a little bit of money that way if you want. But that's a whole other story. Well, that's the nice part about Steam, though. You can uh, you can contribute without uh, having to pay a monthly subscription. Exactly. Uh-huh. So it helps. It helps. I'm doing my meager part with my 11 cent upvote, trying to go through. Unfortunately, there was a lot of backlog stuff because I've been sick and kind of like not really paying attention to what's been going into my feed. Well, you should ignore. Which I apologize for. Be, because, be, because you're backed up, you should ignore everything else and only upvote Seeds of Liberty and Abolitionist J stuff for the next two weeks just to make up for it. That's all I'm doing. There that is go. all I'm doing. Excellent. I'm, I'm going to have to make me a Steam account attention. now and start. Well, see, if, if see, you there's do, not really it's the, not really an outlet for shit posting, and that's really my uh, D mania you know? is become it seems to be a pretty nice outlet for shit. Po- well, at least shit posting memes. Um, that's what D mania seems to become that and like shit posting gifts and stuff. Uh, D mania. What is this? Uh, I don't know. It's another one of the side platforms that uh, where people hey, where, where, nice. where people are posting their memes and stuff. Uh, I was told by my buddy uh, Ty earlier that apparently D Live just got launched too to uh, to to compete with Facebook Live. So oh shit, yeah. So nice. they got a bunch of stuff going on over there. So yeah, that's that's where we're going to be putting a lot of our stuff. But again, you know, you'll still be able to find our content and all the other regular places. And we're going to be keep trying to provide better and better and better content. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I definitely want to get guests. I, I, w- I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Well, I'll see what you guys think. But I, I mean, I would prefer to have. No, I don't want any guests on this show. Uh, guests are, should be outlawed. Thank you. There ought to be a law against that. Uh, I, I, I'm already. Yeah, I, we could just have Andre doing different sock puppet character every. I, I already show. co-host another. I already co-host another show where that's the rule. I don't want to do that one. I don't want to do that one here. Um, I think. Uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, my my preference would be to do, you know, out of the four shows a month, I would prefer to have at Allegedly. least th- uh, at least three with guests. And you know, you Dent, Dave, you were mentioning earlier, like you know, once a month, some huge name guest. Uh, you know, I'm. I mean, it, it, it could be every week. I don't care. <laughs> we, you know, as long as we can get t- good quality uh, conversations going on here, whether they're big names or not. You know, that would be mm-hmm. my preference. I don't know if you guys are, would rather do less or, or do all of them, or what do you think? I mean, I well, if I, we can get if we can get guests every week, that would be awesome. I don't, I don't expect that we'll really be able to. Uh, I mean, granted, I know far fewer people than you guys do, so I have far less reach to 
you know, a, I want to start much smaller pool to pull from. For, but uh, but I want to start I mean, pulling awesome. for, I would love to for like uh, main mainline libertarians. You know, like guys at the Mises Institute, I, uh, guys at Fee. You know, guys that are in the mainstream libertarian consciousness. I want to start talking well, we to them. Need that to, way we can start bending their ears. We we need to get off our rear ends and actually do that. I mean, like I that that I think that goes right along with. Maybe the, we can send a message to Hans Hermann Hoppe. <laughs> Convince yeah. him to download from the phone. I'm sure. I'm. Uh, yeah. That 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 seems a little far fetched. Uh, he t- he t- Tom Woods could. Hey, man, you shoot, you shoot for the moon because even if you miss, you end up in the stars. This is true. But Tom Woods Wise couldn't even get wisdom. Tom Woods Dance couldn't out. even get Hoppa until his thousandth episode, and even then he videoed it in. So I mean, come on. Oh boy. Um, yeah. But hey, I I mean, it, that was a great. Day we we just it, see the thing is, it, like I said, this goes along with the the fact that we you know kind of like I said, I don't want to you know it's just speaking for myself at least phoning it in towards the end of last year because we weren't putting in any effort in trying to get anybody and I, I think if we just start asking people again, we may be surprised because I mean hey, uh, what I just saw that uh, speaking of Shane Radliff who I just mentioned, he's got Scott Horton lined up. He's recording with Scott Horton tonight for Liberty Under Attack. You know, Hell yeah. so I think there's certain people. I mean, we we've joked about it in the past, but I know if we if we contact Walter Block, we can get him on because he'll go on anybody's show. Uh, that's that's Walter. That's the kind of guy Walter is. We've just always joked about the fact that he would drive us nuts after a while because as, as as brilliant as he is, just like I think there's one point all back in the Danilo days that all three of us were like his voice after a while may drive us insane. Um, no offense, Walter. <laughs> Again, brilliant guy. <laughs> We should get Kurt Doolittle yeah. on, but because he could, he oh, could literally God. spend two hours just saying. I, I don't know nonsense. who that is. Word salad, all word salad, nothing but word salad Ugh. for two hours, and he would he would keep going just, like he wouldn't even he wouldn't even realize the show. Basically, Cal was Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a little uh, no, because I can at least like it, Cal Wagner at least makes coherent sentences. The shit that that Curtis Doolittle puts out is uh, bizarre. I don't it's, know. It's I, I uh, know what is it? It's is. like it's absurd theater. That's what it is. Jeremy, it's, we know you. You you've dropped out of a lot of loops, man. You uh you, you kind of gave up on it, Facebook. I've given up is on some, Facebook. Some like political commentator or something. I don't know. Like who's this guy? No, he's no, basically he's, just uh, you know in all of the libertarian groups. Oh, so he's, he's a, like the best. The best way to describe him is he is like maximum sophist. Like if sophistry could be embodied in a single individual, that'd be Kurt Doolittle. Like that man just throws <laughs> words around, and I don't even think he realizes what he's saying. Like, I I honestly so don't he's like the think libertarian David Ava, David Avocado Wolf or whatever the hell that guy's name is. Oh boy, <laughs> David Jesus. Avocado Wolf. That's his name, right? You know, Wolf? David that's Avocado his... Wolf's a crazy person. <laughs> Yo, you don't know who that is? That's that's funny. Um, yeah, he's I don't know. He's this wacky. Like, I do know who that is. No, that guy I, I was is talking to Andre. Individual. I was talking to Andre. Yeah, he's some guy that uh, what should we call it? He's like fancies himself some kind of a health guru yeah health guru but like he basically just steals some other of the stuff he says is dead on some of it's like most of it's uh, just mumbo jumbo and, and he's just like what? babble he's just babbling but he also steals everybody else's content and just slaps his little w- trade like his little watermark on there and like you know that's his that's yeah his thing. he does but so many people eat up his crap and it just you know so he's just a running joke in that community because well, it sounds intelligent man it's like you're expanding your consciousness with wide Yes, spanning words. You just say a lot of big it's words. Incredible and... vocabulary, man. Yes, ba- I love that guy pleasure. that uh, d- is basically the fake. You know, he, he he's got that long uh, red hair. I, what is that guy's name? I don't know. We're getting sidetracked, though. Oh, <laughs> Jared Top. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. No, no, no. He's a YouTube guy. <laughs> oh, I see. Every, yeah, I, Top. I'm lost already because I, I I don't follow <laughs> anybody on YouTube. I mean, I subscribe to what people's do you channels, do, but Jeremy? I don't. <laughs> I've well, this is this is not like news. This is something that I've been saying going back to the Danilo days. Like back, you know, my whole reason I didn't listen to Danilo's show JP forever Sears, that's it. was because he didn't have his shows on an RSS feed, and I don't have the time and or the patience to sit and watch a YouTube video because I haven't mm-hmm. had unlimited data on my phone for quite a while because I have a Ting account. And even before that, even when I yeah. did, I had like, you know, I had the you know, all my phones that if I tried to, you know, watch the YouTube, you had to keep it open and stuff. And that 
so it would stay on yeah. otherwise it yeah. would shut off and that just wasn't conducive for me walking around with dogs and trying to keep the phone in my pocket and stuff so I just never got around to watching listening to any of his stuff until he finally get on, a, on an RSS feed and even now it's still like I'm not working as much obviously but it's still very hard for me to actually either sit in front of a computer or my phone or whatever and watch a YouTube video anything longer than like five minutes or even have it on to listen to it's still you know because now that I've moved my computer into the studio it's not I can't just do other stuff around the house and still listen to it <laughs> so YouTube is just not for me <laughs> it's, I post stuff there I post yeah. stuff there to DTube other than that I don't really frequent it that often except to find little clips of things well I'll you know I'll have a TVs out in the workshop just playing whatever from YouTube on the background. So I don't, it, I just have whatever play in. People send me stuff all day. If I had that set up, I would probably do that. You know, if I'm out, did I'm, you ever get a Chromecast uh, little device, a little dongle? No, they're crazy. No, but like I said, if I was out oh, working, 35 bucks at on, on online or Best Buy or wherever. Yeah, but if I'm out, if I'm out working or out and about whatever without my kids, then it's just always easier for me to listen to stuff. So I just listen to podcasts. So there's no like I never get around to the whole YouTube thing. There's just no you know. Plus, and it, it would just drain my battery even more. And between w wanting to listen to podcasts and trying to use Waze and you know have Cell Four Hundred One One ready when I need it, I try not to drain my battery with any unnecessary BS. Especially now that I've actually caught up I on all my podcasts. Which is nice. So far behind for so long. Yeah, I, I don't have much time to, to consume media much anymore, though. So, well, yeah, I just, neither do I. I, I wrote a piece for that. I wrote a piece about that for Steam. It. I finally have a podcast. I finally have a podcatcher that plays things at one and a half speed. So now I can actually consume. That's them. not yeah. bad. That is not a bad idea at all. I well, like that. Okay, I need to get my hands on that. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I wrote a piece about this, and I actually referenced you, Dave, and the fact that you know you always make fun of me for being a luddite. But that was the thing. I, I mean, I bitched about Stitcher for the longest time, and everybody else makes fun of Stitcher. Like almost nobody uses Stitcher anymore. But I yeah. stuck with it despite all of the problems that it had, including the fact that the version that I had did not give me the ability to speed up the playback. And despite all this, I just stuck with it until I, it was the final straw was finding out that I thought Drew Sample, another former guest of our show, I thought he, uh, I thought he had pod faded for a little while because I wasn't getting any, I didn't see any new shows from him for quite a while. And then he invited me to the new uh, secret, you know, the, the new uh, listener supported group that he created for his show. And I saw that the, the episode that he put out was with Thaddeus Russell and it was like 20 ahead of the last one I listened to. And I'm like, Dude, you didn't pod fade. <laughs> I'm like, Stitcher hasn't updated. He's like, he's like, I fucking hate Stitcher. That was his only response. So I'm guessing he realized that they kind of nice. screwed him and nice. stopped updating his show months ago. And so yeah, that was kind of the last draw. And then like the next day, none of my podcasts would down would upload. You know, I had like, you know, 10 of them that needed to upload. None of them were. They just kept getting error messages every time. So I'm like, that's it. I'm done. I finally switched. I got to Podcast Addict, and I'm like, it's not even one and a half speed. I can crank it up even faster than that. I'm like, this is amazing. Like, I feel yeah. like such an idiot for yeah, wasting. Yeah, you can go like uh, 1.75, 2.2. I you know, know but speed it up. But like, how many hours did I? You can waste? jam those Dan Carlin hardcore history it, podcasts exactly. out quick. I did. I did how them. many hours have I wasted over the past five or six years that I've been in this crazy? Dude, you're like. You're no no way you read all those books. Like, dude, I just sit down, I I put it on like one point five speed and I don't stop. And well, I read books. Now, now I understand. It's like I said, I feel I feel like an idiot because I It's I, like I didn't realize this. This is the, how what I was really missing out on, how beautiful it really is. Cause I used to Yeah, it's used to, well I used to tell a people, way of getting knowledge. It's almost like us speeding towards the matrix, you know. When they're just like, I want to learn how to fly a helicopter. Yeah, where you just, like, you just literally they have it their in. head. Yeah, yeah, we're we're get we're marching towards that, you know. But I, you know, I I used to tell people that I listen to six to eight hours of a podcast a day because I did for the longest time doing my dog walking business when I was working full time. I had all those hours that I was out by myself just listening and listening and listening. Just imagine how many more shows I could have crammed in. How many more audio books? <laughs> it's so disappointing. So. R uh, Jeremy, red pill me real hard on this drinking apple cider vinegar. Um, I, I did some earlier. I don't know if I should have done it. 
I, I, oh well, I, I was trying to. I was going to try to bring us back to the to the topic at hand, but yeah, I guess we could sidetrack even further here. Uh, well, what do you I mean? I mean, I love getting into a quick health topic. Well, I don't know. I, you're, aren't you're not you, feeling you well? big into drinking it for a while? Yeah, whenever I well, I had the flu. Whenever so. I feel a cold coming on, I start drinking it. But what I have is apple cider vinegar infused with garlic. And in order to do that, Ooh. you have to get a you know a jug or bottle or whatever, and fill it most you know pretty much all the way with apple cider vinegar, and then drop like te- you know eight to twelve you know peeled garlic cloves in uh you know in there, and then how do you get that down? I almost well, hold on, no, no, you, you you just you put the uh, you know you let the garlic you get the garlic to soak in there, and then you have to let it sit for I think thirty days before it's really effective. Okay. And then once it's infused like that, I just take sh- I take a shot a day of that. Once I start feeling crappy, oh, yeah, it doesn't take. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I take a shot of it. Like literally, I take a shot glass out, pour myself a shot, okay. and I I just have a water chaser, and it's fine. But it definitely. All right, I'm gonna do it. I don't know. That sounds delicious. Like honestly, I could just like gulp that shit down. It's, it's but I love the taste of vinegar. So. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I'm I, I'm kind of a fan of vinegar too, so it's really not bad for me. Um, I, I, I don't find I don't find it that. Uh, well, you know what's even what's even worse than that? It gives me that chills up my back. You know that well, like even worse I'm about than to the throw up chills. You know, even worse than the apple cider vinegar are the tinctures that I had made for me last year when I was feeling sick around this time and I was really effed up for a long time. Mm-hmm. And uh, the 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 reishi tincture. And what's the other one? I think a dandelion tincture, but those things made with you know their tinctures made without you know make made with alcohol. I think they're made with like uh, Everclear. Yeah, they're made with Everclear. And those things, you only have to take a dropper full of those things. But oh my god, those it's horrible. Like I used to actually put the dropper fulls of those in the apple cider vinegar because the apple cider vinegar tasted that much better than that shit. But it fucking does wonders for uh, you. Oh wow! I'll, t- I'll tell you that it does wonders for you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got my mind blown by a tincture, you know, explanation uh, about how somebody was allergic to a cat. They brought the cat hair to someone. They made a tincture out of it, gave it back to them. They put it under their tongue for a couple of days, and then they're never allergic to that cat again. And I was like, what? <laughs> that sounds like they were kind of inoculating themselves to it. I don't, I mean. Yeah. I don't I don't know about the Which validity actually, to be that. fair, I mean, that is something that's, that's something that's that's done even in uh, Western medicine. Well, yeah, that's uh, how they that's, allergy treatments. I mean, it's out of my ba- bailiwick of explanation, but I, I I remember what I read. I've heard of stuff like that before. I've never verified it, of course. But yeah, I mean, you know, like like Andre said, it's not you know it's not out of the realm of possibility because it's actually done in Western medicine. So it is quite possible that it could okay. be done through other methods. But now that we've gotten completely sidetracked, yes, folks, Dave, you can get Jeremy's all natural. <laughs> Since apple I'll, cider vinegar infused with organic. Since obviously you don't have time now to infuse your apple cider vinegar, just the apple cider vinegar itself is still a good um, a good thing when you're not feeling well. So you may you may want to take two shots of it a day, but just you know slam down a glass of water after it. Shouldn't be that bad. You pansy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, or yeah. while you're at it, just dump okay. a bunch. All right, I, I didn't know. I I knew you were kind of into drinking it a while back. I remember you. No, I I, it, so I keep I a bottle that. of it around, and every time I start feeling sick, I have that. I actually the the other thing I actually have is that you know the colloidal silver crap. But my dad, oh, yeah. my dad swears by it, so I have a jug of it in the house because you know he likes to use it when he comes out here. So I've I've always I've had it around. No, since no, that. it's amazing. And same, I was taking that before the apple cider vinegar, but it would it definitely. I don't know if it was some weird placebo or something or not, but I definitely, my colds were always cut short. Like my, even when my kids were getting sick, I would get like get the start of it. And as soon as I felt it coming on, I would t- start taking a shot of that a day. Or then I started doing a shot of both a day. And so we need to start both buying or, colloidal silver a day or and two later, Alex better. Jones and selling seeds of Liberty colloidal silver. Well, that's, that's see, that's funny. You said that I, the other thing I wanted to do is talk about actually, Finally, starting getting around to doing merchandise stuff that we've talked about for years, and the, yeah, yeah, merchandise, sweet. Well, I have a, I have a threadless store for us set up, and I was looking to see about getting so- certain designs made up and getting good p you know dot uh, png files of them, so I can have those send those over to th- threadless, so we can start making stuff up there. Because we could probably get some stuff done on Fiverr. It, well, that's quite yeah, we definitely could. I would. Oh, geez, I haven't been on Fiverr forever. I have an I have an account up there. I got I got 
offered a bunch of stuff when I first signed up because I si- I signed up to uh, you know produce content, <laughs> and I got a bunch of I got a bunch of offers when I first started. And then you I were the guy that was saying you'd show everyone your butthole, yeah, for exactly. five dollars, right? Exactly, that was me. <laughs> you caught me, but. Well, no, I, there's a couple of people, including former guest uh, Andrew Marich, that I think I'm going to ask about helping out with some of that stuff because he already does a bunch of designs anyway. And he's already turned one. Yeah, of, he's, he's really good at that. He's already turned one of my memes into a shirt on Threadless. And I'm just going to ask, you know, I'm going to ask him to give me the PNG for that one so we can start selling that one too because, well, it is my design. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so stuff, stuff like that, you know, I, I would like to get that up and running too. Hopefully, people, you know, hopefully we'll see if people would be interested in some stuff like that and, and not just you know stuff with like seeds of liberty stamped on it i'm talking about you know fun fun shirts and stuff like that, that people would actually want to wear that you know aren't just promoting us just promoting liberty stuff in general uh you know yeah i've been doing that every so often I, I, every time i think of a really good shirt like i'll write it down so like i'm gonna start working on that too i've got a a, a, a t-shirt book essentially <laughs> so i mean uh, other than that, I mean, I don't know. What, what, do you, what do you guys think? Do you have any other ideas for improvements for the uh, upcoming year? Because, I mean, I know the only, uh, like, I know. More was, Andre. Well, hold on. So, Andre, so, honestly. Hold just, on. So some other, some other podcasts I know are actually starting to refocus on video, uh, including friends of ours, that the, like the guys at the Ant Camp Barbershop, the Liberty Lampoon. Uh, I think Drew Sample, I heard him talking about that on one of his podcasts recently. Like, a lot of people are actually going back to that now. I don't really want to do that. That's just too much of a pain in the butt. I don't want to have to deal with all Nine. that mess. Uh, Nine. But anything else? I don't know. What do you yeah, guys I don't, I don't see a particular reason for that either. So you're you're not the only I one. I don't see a particular reason to go to video. To video. Exactly. So what? So, so I believe the lady doth protest too much. Yeah. So what? So then? So then? Uh, so if 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 you guys want to shoot like a video with your phone, like a short little like. You know, this is Andre. Here's my thoughts about whatever, and put it on the YouTube and the DTube and whatever else. Why not? Like I, I don't. But our shows. Well, actually, well, there's a that's comfortability what, that's what of, say, especially with guests. Yeah, let Dave let's, taking that's, out that's that. What I, that uh, that's what I was about element. to say regarding uh, regarding live video because with D Live, I mean, that's all written to the Steam blockchain. And you can stream live video from there. So I think we could probably do ourselves a favor and take advantage of that, um, either as individuals or I don't know, figure. I mean. I don't. I don't suggest us having a roundtable. I personally don't like the idea of doing video podcasts. I've done. I've done one once. The audio quality was terrible, uh, and it just uh-huh. was not a very good experience. And I just don't. I don't see that being a very effective way of conveying a message in a format that people. Those will only really digest. work well if you're blending a couple of crowds together, in my opinion. If you have a bunch of audiences that are going to be lo- like, if you have like a couple of. Uh, uh, people have their own shows and stuff on one place. It'd probably be best to do a roundtable. That way, all of them have visual yeah, yeah. cues uh, of who the the people talking are. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I think regular table, shows. I mean, come on. I think roundtables are crap unless you're actually in in the same room and at a roundtable. <laughs> Otherwise, they're, uh, they're you. I agree. I, well, no, I think they're. <laughs> I, I think, but I, no, I I agree with yeah. you. I'm just poking fun. Yeah, I know, but with. But with pot, even with podcasting, yeah, I mean, yeah, can we do these things remotely? Absolutely, but yeah, Except if you, if, if you got to do video, I think those are don't project it. Th- those are those are better when everybody's in the same room together, than because then you don't have to worry about virtual reality is your friend, yes. Dave Hush. Yes. So, uh, so yeah, so we're we're not going down that path, obviously. So we're all against that. Great. So then, what else do we do <laughs> to uh, well? Uh, to, like to I make said, I mentioned uh, I mentioned live videos, just us individually. That would probably be a good way. And if we can post it to D Live, that way we we can uh, bring in some uh, we can generate some more revenue via Steam and expand our reach that way. Um, we're already posting to Steam, so we're going to be doing that. Um, did you have? Any, by the way, did you have any questions about that? I know you mentioned something about that before the show started. Yeah, but they um, were they were they were silly they were silly they were silly noob questions that I could ask you off air. <laughs> okay, um, I got you. I, I figured, um, so we're I figured everything else out. Um, yeah, so we covered that. Um, but or or, or for, enough, even for this enough. show though, like I'm think like I said, if we're you know we're not going to do the video thing because we're all against that. But like you know, what are your guys thoughts? Do you other than guests? Do you have any you know segments we could or all anything like learn that? An instrument. That we could would, all learn an instrument and then I, play uh, together. I think we should start bringing people. From, I call uh, the oboe. 
<laughs> I don't know. I why. think we should start bringing on people we don't we specifically don't agree with onto the show, uh, just to let them say their piece and us respond to them and see what we they say. We already definitely have at least one person we could probably get that with. In the past, we used to have a couple that we could. Back in the Danilo days, we had a couple of people who followed us who vehemently disagreed with us, but they were some people who had followed and vehemently disagreed with Danilo before he started the show with us. So they just followed yeah. over like that. Uh, How do you disagree Nathan, with Danilo? Nathan yeah. P- uh, Pinochle or whatever his name was, but a bunch of people like that used to like, uh, and we'd have them around all the time, but we used to offer them to come on the show and they never would we do you and i had somebody uh I'm, ta- us. I'm talking about uh, a noteworthy guest you well, know no, not, not even not specifically like uh no not even yeah but i'm talking about know, listeners or somebody you well, know no. I'm talking about like actual- yeah but the person who reached out to, to you and i through the facebook uh, through the the seeds of liberty facebook page is somebody who has his own podcast andrew wacker does his own podcast <laughs> So he's not oh, really? just, yeah, so that that's who I was thinking of, you know, he's somebody that we've, you and I have been in contact with at least, I mean, it was like six months ago at this point, but I'm still friends with Aaron from Liberty Lampoon, who is friends with Andrew, uh, you know, in real life friends. Mm-hmm. So I believe we, we could still set, you know, him, we could easily set up. And that's something we had talked about before, possibly getting him on because he was the one who uh, is, uh, I believe he's a, I believe he's still a self-proclaimed anarcho-syndicalist. But he, oh, Jesus Christ! But well, no, but but he's. I mean, he's he's fairly like he's articulate and he's very. Uh, he's he's open to ideas. Like he's not, and because he's been on he's been on Liberty Lampoon with with Aaron and Michael a couple of times. And that's where I I've, I learned about him at first. And he is, uh, you know, he he's definitely changed his mind on certain things. He's not very, you know, he's just kind of like still figuring things out but he had never was it what was it was it fort no it wasn't not the four new liberty that's the uh what did, what did he read that he ended up writing a, a rebuttal to what what rothbard was it anatomy of the state dave do you remember um i'm having a hard time recalling i don't know if it this was sounds a, familiar yeah, i don't, I don't remember, know if it was anatomy know, it, it was familiar. it was one of it was what because anatomy is the one that's not very long right so i think it was one of rothbard's not yeah. anatomy is not very long yeah it was one of rothbard's you know not not longer pieces i think it was anatomy but whatever he had never read it before so just after uh talking to aaron and then listen and he listens to he started listening to our show he he took it upon himself to go and read it. And then he wrote a really long ass rebuttal to it. I mean, Dave and I didn't agree with his rebuttal, but <laughs> I was like, this is perfect. Like we should have him on and we could talk about this. And we just never got around to it. So yeah, if, if you're looking to have people yeah. like, like, sure. Could we get bigger people? I mean, I, if we can get around to getting Thaddeus Russell on, like we were joking about earlier, uh, you know, with the connections that we have, then yeah, he would be another one who I'm sure, pretty sure all three of us would oppose him on certain things, although you two probably more strongly than I do. I do tend to ally with that on a lot of things, although he's definitely still pretty far left on, <laughs> on a lot for even me. <laughs> um, yeah. But... Uh, well, you don't have to agree with someone on everything. You know, you can still get nuggets well, it's not of, even that. of what like, they he's, see he's as further, the truth, you know? He's like further than like not everything. <laughs> he's not like in my ANCAP yeah. days when I was like, oh, I love Rothbard, but I'm like, you know, 90% of the way. They're not like that. That's still probably like 60, 70%, maybe. <laughs> anyway, well, but but yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, we could do I that too. I think you always have to be digging deeper in everything, you know? You can't rest on anything. I try not to, but so yeah, we could. And we, that's that's what I want this whole year to be for us is a growth year. Of, right. of of teaching action, actual action towards a free society. Well, we we. I don't I don't know if I like the word or the term free anymore. I I think I've shifted almost completely my lexicon towards moral. I know you probably don't like that too much, but uh, that's that's what I think the 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 thing to strive for. When people say free, they really mean a moral, you know, not you know, know immoral that. markets. I don't know about that, but. Uh, well, whatever. I mean, that's you, you. You want to take it that way? I'll I'll stick with my own verbiage. Thank you very we, much. We yeah, we can we can go into this at a later time. Yeah, but uh, on a different show, I yeah. think preferably with a guest. Yes, but I think uh, yeah. So all right, so yeah, so, come argue with me, somebody. So producing content out, producing more content outside of the show itself. Uh, uh, so far, getting more getting more consistent with guests and also getting more opposing views on the show we have those so far uh, anything else you guys uh, can come up with right now if not it's okay but <laughs> 
we're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna ask i'm gonna once again ask our our, our listeners for uh, some f- some feedback too but do you guys have anything else you can come up with uh, uh well i mean we we covered the merchandising angle which i think would be good it would be solid to put some of our uh dankest memes onto t-shirts and other other consumable media yeah i'm gonna try to upgrade my computer and recording equipment sometime this year as well so yeah okay. it's i think that's going to be another thing okay well uh we'll start there and then uh i guess we probably should get wrapping up anyway since both of you are uh under the weather a bit yeah sorry if yes I I'm, I'm actually sitting here yeah, dying I like so <laughs> <garbage. really interesting. laughs> no, I, I know i, I appreciate pray for that. us people pray so so yeah so once again, and you know, all of our listeners, please, if you have any, you know, whatever, whatever you think of the ideas that we've brought up today, if you have any addition, additional ideas, any other criticisms, or uh, you know, or or positive feedback, whatever, uh, please, 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 get in touch with us in any of the myriad out of ways that it's possible. All of our links will be in the show notes. You can always find pretty much all the ways to contact us directly through our through the solpodcast.org page. Uh, except our steam it is not up there yet, but that's easy enough. You just go to steam it and it's seeds of Liberty. So, you know, you can pretty much find us anywhere. You can contact us anywhere and let us know, please. We keep doing this because yeah. help know, us make 2018 our bitch. There you go. That's a, that, that's a, that's a good thought, Dave. And as you know, I, I think e- even with the you know numbers being down and being skewed in other places, you know, like we said at the beginning of the show, there's still plenty of you that are listening. So we know you're out there. Please reach out. Let us know and uh, help us make the show better for you. So, because we're going to keep doing it because it's fun, but we want to make sure that you all enjoy it as well. And uh, hopefully we can continue to spread the message even further this year. So with that, we will close it out. This has been the Seeds of Liberty podcast. Again, all of our information can be found at solpodcast.org. Patreon is up and running. Patreon slash uh, Seeds of Liberty. And episode 18 was just put out. It's a really good one. And you're not going to know what the heck some of us are talking about unless you listen to that. So please consider going to donate. Only a dollar a month will get you that and all of our other content. It's just 12 bucks a year. But, you know, I understand if you prefer to deal in crypto, we have plenty of ways to give us that too. So thank you, everybody, for listening. Yeah. Yeah. And we will catch you next time. Peace. Peace in Latvia. That's it. Are you sick of seeing peaceful people being locked away for victimless crimes? Instead of trying to get out of jury duty, consider taking it so you can do the right thing. A single juror with a conscience can send someone home to their family instead of to a jail cell. If there's no victim, how can there be a crime? And if the judge or prosecutor are keeping you in the dark, what are they trying to hide? You can vote your conscience instead of being a pawn of the state. For more information, Google jury nullification or check out the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. This is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. I've run websites since 1996 and have used over a dozen web hosts in that time. Agoristhosting.com is the only one that hasn't broken my heart. Agorist Hosting's uptime and service is stellar, and their DDoS mitigation is the best I've seen. That's important because if you tell the truth in this world, you'll ruffle feathers. No matter what the haters hit us with, Agorist Hosting keeps our websites online. If you have a mission-critical commercial presence or a world-changing activism site, go with agoristhosting.com.